The SH-40 just arrived. We haven't had our hands on it yet. We don't really know what it sounds like, at least not in person. We're gonna unbox this. We're gonna press a few buttons and see what happens. Stick around. Hello, Internet. Chris Klein here with Alma Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. And today, we are going to look at the SH-4D, but just really, really fast. We're going to unbox it. We're going to listen to some presets, turn a few knobs. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on it because we're going to come back and do a deeper dive on it. Uh, but before we do move on, I'd like to ask if you haven't already, please subscribe. We've got a lot of content coming your way. We have other channels as well. Piano, guitar, bass, accordion, band and orchestra. We're going to have some more here for you soon. I can only imagine how to make the best enchiladas. God only knows what's... Uh, what's planned. But uh, let's go ahead and get to the meat of this. Let's open this up, let's turn it on, and let's see what it sounds like. So we got the SH-4D in from Roland. None of us have even looked at this, breathed on it, touched it, smelled it, moved knobs. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it. We're going to plug it in, fire it up, and we're just going to see what it sounds like. Here we go. This is where we should have the Benny Hill music, you know? You know that tune? It would be perfect. Uh-oh, we got batteries. Let's move all the minutia, packaging stuff away. I'm not even going to look at the manual. And let's turn this critter on. Powering up. Lots of tactile control. And let's just hit the start button and see what happens. And maybe we need some volume. Right, so we have some sort of ambient type of jam happening. So there's our filter. It is a high pass filter. Let's see if we can change the type here. Or a low pass, excuse me. Okay. Let's turn the resonance up. Let's get back to it. All right. So without having read anything or having looked at anything online, so it looks like we have a fixed high pass filter as well as an adjustable filter with a resonance and what I presume is keyboard tracking of some kind or. So let's see, how can we change the pattern? That's allowing us to change the synth, the this whole waveform. So again, I know nothing about this. So... Oh, okay. So I guess we have 16 patterns, probably banks of patterns. Sounds really nice. Let's go ahead and turn off the 
Let's be listening to the synth. filter cool so here's our ADSR so this is going to mute parts Nothing's happening as I change the model to the pitch. So, oh, let's go to part one. There we go. Come your arpeggiator. Oh, cool. Okay, that's part one. We have rhythm. And I'm not getting anything there. So it's gonna take, you know, a little bit of uh, alone time with this to figure it out. But now I think we have kind of an idea of what this thing can do, what it sounds like. And so with that being said, God, look at all these controls. It's really nice, it's really well laid out. Everything feels like it's built well. Let's see, we've got mix in, external clock in, headphones, uh, stereo out. Uh, we have our five pin uh, DIN MIDI in and out. Looks like we can also power it over USB. And this, of course, is just conjecture or speculation. I really don't know if we can or not, but I presume we can because it says five volts, which also tells me that we probably have MIDI over USB. So there it is, the SH4. Let's hear another pattern and see what happens. Sounds nice, really cool groove machine. So yeah, here it is, SH4D. And we will come back with a uh, deeper dive uh, pretty soon, so uh, hang tight. Well, that was fun. Uh, I'm gonna take it home and I'm gonna play with it and get to know it and create some patterns and some sequences and get to understand the architecture of it a little bit more. Uh, Lots of tactile control. Uh, it's just really, really looks like a lot of fun. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to diving in and getting to know the SH4D a little bit more. And maybe I'll add it to my own arsenal. I don't know yet. Um, sounds really, really cool. So with that being said, once again, I'm Chris Klein, Alma Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, please leave your comments below. Let's be friendly and kind to each other. And let's uh, help to uh, promote and nurture this uh, music technology community. Uh, so be kind to each other, and until next time, uh, keep on working on your productions and have fun with your machines.